code signal, arcade, databases, grade distribution. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving grade distribution from code signal, so let's begin. So at the end of every semester, your professor for databases save the exam results for every student in a simple database system and a table called grades. And this is the columns, name, ID, midterm one, midterm two, and final. So this is the school policy to evaluate a grade. Um, option one, option two, option three, you can read it right here. It's, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Feel free to pause. Okay, and the TA wants to query the name and ID of all the students who best grade comes from option three. Sort of based on the first three characters of their name. And if the first three characters of the two names are the same, then the student with the lower ID comes first. Okay, so we have the following table of values of grades and output should be only the students whose final score for option three will be better than those provided for option one and option two and in this case it's going to be david john t and jonathan now i could give you all the arithmetic about it oh it already does it for me right here i think but um that's something you could find out yourself for the sake of time. Let's just assume that's how it works. Um, let's go ahead and solve this. So first, let's query what we want. We want the names and the ID from the grades table. Now, something to consider here. I'm going to put this as name and ID because I believe that once I query based on these column names, those column names are going to show up in this table. I have to make sure that it's case sensitive correctly. All right. Now I want to filter it and to filter the values that I want, I should use the where statement. And in this case, where is going to be, I have to do it when, um, should we try to pull this through, when final is greater than 0 0.25 times midterm one. Oh, yeah, sorry, hold, hold for a second guys. Midterm one plus midterm two. So this is option one I'm inputting. I'm, I'm inputting. Okay. Plus 0 0.5 times final. Let me make sure I have that column names correctly. All right, that's good. Wait, hold for a second. There's a lot of mathematical stuff that I have to think about. Yep, there you go. This is correct. And I want to make sure, okay, other than making sure it passes option one, I have to use the formula for option two to see if that's correct as well. So it's final, it's greater than um, 0 0.5 times midterm one plus midterm two. Okay. Okay, all right, and now I want to, after I get the query of filtering when those people have their options, where the option three is better than their option two and option, wait, option one and option two, now I want to have it ordered by the first three characters of their name. So do order by, and this time I'll use something called a substring. So the substring is going to take a portion of their names. In this case, it's ordered by substring um, name. And then it's going to be first three characters. So it's going to be one, two, three. And if the first three characters are the same, and then if it doesn't work, then I just want to do it when the lower ID value comes first. So in this case, it's going to be just ID. All right. I hope I got this down correctly. So let me see if run tests. Let's hope I got this kind of right. It's kind of dense. All right, let's see what I did wrong here. Ah, now see, oh, wait, hold for a second, guys. Look at this, look at this. Name, ID, look, the results look the same, correct? <laughs> I don't know, if, wait, yeah, but it looks like it's case sensitive. See, this D has to be capital. If I do this, I think it would pass. Let me see. Oh my gosh, guys, you see how sensitive these, you have to be careful when you input these column names. All right, now let's submit, and we'll still get too excited, right? Let's, see, let's hope that this passes all the tests.
Awesome. All right, guys. I uh, hope you like this um, question. This question is dense, so let's break it down again. You only want the names and IDs from grades, and now only filter results where option three, denoted by this final, is greater than option one, denoted by this formula here. Oh, gosh. Formula here and option two, which is this formula right here. And then I want to order those results by the first three characters, which is the name column from one to three, first three characters, and next priority is by the ID when the lower values come first. All right, please like and subscribe. And if you do, I'm going to guys send you to the first row seats to a Danganronpa trial based on all the students who performed well in their previous Danganronpa trials. If you guys don't know Danganronpa, I meant like Danganronpa. I don't know if you guys have seen that show. I will show you a live action version of that. That was a joke that I don't think anyone would get references to. Sorry about that. Please forgive me. Subscribe!